I'm Chef Tammy Brawley from The Green Kitchen. Welcome to Heart of the Home. I'm going to show you guys how to make a delicious apple crumb pie. The best thing about this recipe is it's six ingredients or less. Everybody's always looking for simplicity when it comes to these things. And then the second best thing about this recipe is it's my daughter's birthday cake. She never wants cake for her birthday. She always wants my apple crumb pie. So we're going to start with some apples. I really love to use um, a crisp apple. I don't care to use um, the Red Delicious because I feel like they're a little bit too watery, but I do like to use a gala or a wine sap perhaps, even a pink lady, anything that's real kind of a sharp. And the first thing you want to do is to peel your apple. I've already peeled about six or so. For a nine inch crust, it takes about seven apples or so. It just depends on um, the, how the, the depth of your pie shell. And you can certainly do homemade shells with this. That, that's great as well. But for time purposes, it's always fine to use one out of the freezer. We have a Pillsbury crust right here already ready and then we're going to core our apple all right and then we throw our slices into a bowl and then we're going to take about a half a cup of white sugar mixed with a teaspoon of allspice. I just like allspice because it gives it all of those uh, flavors there, not just cinnamon. Um, if you don't have allspice and you just want to use cinnamon, there's nothing wrong with that. But I personally prefer to use allspice and you want to mix that up. And you want to get this going pretty much first before you do the rest of your pie. <clears throat> all right. And now you want to make your apple crumb topping. And as far as your crust goes, there's a couple different uh, rules of thumb here. One, you can either dock it, meaning using a, a fork or a pie docker. You can pre-bake it or not pre-bake it. The difference being when you do pre-bake it, you're going to get a crispier crust. If you don't pre-bake it, it'll be a softer crust, but for apples and for as long as they're going to bake, it's going to taste delicious. In this case, um, you can also uh, dock it or you can brush it with an egg wash. We're not going to do either of those at this moment in time, but we're going to leave that pie shell there. And then in another bowl, we have about a third cup flour and we're going to add about a half a cup of brown sugar <clears throat> and then you want to add about a third of a cup of cold butter Now this is where I believe in the right tool for the right job. I could do this easily with a fork if I wanted to but I have a pastry blender which I love to use it's just got some dull blades there and you just want to get down and push this around. Oh, I lost a butter there. <clears throat> okay, let's see how much of a mess I can make while I cook. So you're looking to get your butter kind of chunked up. You don't want it completely fine. You want to leave a few chunks of butter. That's going to help to flavor and soften the apples when it's baking. It's also better to use brown sugar for the crumb topping as opposed to white sugar. All right, the butter is broken up about as far as I want it. All right, now to put the apples into the shell, this is somewhat important. I would not want to dump the apples directly into the shell because a lot of water would have developed on the bottom and I really don't want this pie soggy. So in addition to either docking the crust, as I mentioned at the beginning, or to brushing it with an egg wash, um, I would not dump the water from the apples in. Use your hands or a slotted spoon and put your apples in. Now what I typically like to do is do about half of the apples and then come back with the crumb topping. Do some of the crumb topping here. And I've made those pretty pies with the lattice toppings and they're delicious, don't get me wrong, but there's something about this recipe that's just so much more attractive and tastes so much better. So we've got the rest of our apples <clears throat> and it was about seven as I said and these were galas. All right, and then the rest of our crumb topping. Am I going to make a mess? Probably so, but is it going to taste delicious? You bet. Now 
Now we've had our oven preheating for about, um, I actually tend to do a lower temperature on these because the apples are thick and I don't want them to get overdone um, or overbake and brown but not be tender. So I actually drop my temperature on this oven to about 350 and then this bakes probably about 40 minutes or so. So we'll see that finished product shortly. All right, so our apple pie baked for about 40 minutes, and then of course you have to let it cool. We don't want to burn the roof of our mouth, and we're going to go ahead and cut a slice. This is a delicious apple pie. I know a lot of people are kind of purist. They want just the pie itself. I know some people like ice cream with it. Um, I've, e I've even known people to put cheddar cheese with it. I'm not so much about the cheddar cheese, although I do like sweet and savory together. And they say the first slice is always the worst, right? So I don't expect this to be any different. Well, it's not too terribly bad. Let's get some of that extra on the bottom there, right? And there you have it, apple crumb pie using six ingredients or less. I'm Chef Tammy Brawley from The Green Kitchen. Join us next time on Heart of the Home.